folks, so I'm playing Tuck Tuck Extreme Simulator, guys. This is a banger game. Not really. I'm going to show you how bad this and awful this game is. I can barely steer. Just keep in mind, this game can barely steer. This game was 17 cents in the Steam market, and it's just god awful. There is no pros about this game besides. Actually, there's a lot of pros. <clears throat> okay, but so you see the chrome right there? The chrome has buildings reflecting off, and there's and we're in a rock area. There's no buildings, and you can barely control it. So this is actually a fun game to speedrun with your friends because it's so hard. <clears throat> I am happy this game exists. Cause look, it's so you see those buildings. Look at those buildings. There's we're in a rock area. We're in a mountain. There's no buildings around us. It reflects. Oh, so I fell on the map. And yeah, you're stuck. Like, and there's no human in this car, but there's one human in the game. Yeah, right, he's at the beginning. Okay, now the reflection showing like a, a cobble road, and there's the buildings. Like, bro, it's a Gmod building. So. Right now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. There's a timer, and there's three stars. Oh my gosh. This is just insanely hard for no reason, dude. All I want to do is beat the game. I have one minute left before the timer goes out. Oh! Oh, I almost saved that. So this, these cars are very inefficient, honestly. I don't recommend this car to anyone, quite frankly. It's just a very inefficient machine. Very inefficient machine. I mean, like you're on a bike, kind of, but you're not on a bike. So it kind of makes no sense at all why this thing exists. I guess for third world countries, it's cheap and affordable. But at the same time, it's not... I mean, this game is cheap and affordable. Like, anyone can buy it. It's 99 cents not on sale. On sale, it's 17 cents. And I don't know why it's 17 cents. It's kind of a weird number to be on sale, but at the same time, 17 cents is a banger. But when you buy this game on Steam, it does not count as a game on your Steam inventory. <gasps> okay, we got the finish line. Okay. Six seconds left. Okay, whoa! So I got two and a half, I got one and a half stars for getting six seconds left. That doesn't make any sense. How do you get one star? I I literally had six seconds left remaining, and I... What? So I'm going to buy a new car real fast. So I guess the first level, you get 3,000 coins. And you actually have enough to buy the best car in the game. So I don't get that. So literally, <laughs> literally after round one, you have enough money to buy the most expensive car in the game so I don't get the point of progression They're, like this game doesn't make sense like so yeah I have the fastest car right now and the car look how fast this car is and I'm stuck like I just bought the most expensive car in the game and I can't even drive it oh my god so I think the other car might be, might be better but this one's faster so I don't know maybe the stats are fake because this game is just terrible and it's the same map as the first one, except this one's the snow. Same exact map, which is just very creative, actually. This is probably the most creative thing in the game. Okay, let's go. So I already know this map by heart by this, at this point, because it's a very easy map. And, by the way, there is ten levels of this game, and I don't know how they can change the map more than ten times. Like, you have snow... You have rocks. You have more ro like, bruh. There's. If anyone beats this game, I feel bad for them because that's all they can afford is this terrible game. Like, if you have a computer and this is all you have, I just feel bad. I don't wish that upon anyone, but myself, to be quite frankly. And my goal of this game is to get one star. I want to see how to get a one star. I don't think it's physically possible to get one star. Honestly. I don't think it's possible to get three stars 
Because when the clock starts ticking, it immediately goes down. So now I'm at two stars somehow, and I don't think I can go past under that. You see how hard this is? I can't even steer properly. <clears throat> I'm crashing every two seconds. So now I know this heart by heart at this point. Drift. Oh, I drift actually. Okay. And it leaves tire marks. That's actually the best part about this game. It leaves tire marks. Some modern games don't even have tire marks for some odd reason. And it's, it feels like it's revving. So it's, it's like stuck on first gear. Oh, I'm trying to get out of the map and I failed. Okay, I wonder. Oh, my God. If I lose right here. No, my God. Okay, good. I'm going to wait one second to see if I can get one star. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, so <laughs> so I get one and a half stars again, and I get a time bonus of 50 coins. So every second is 50 coins, and honestly, I have the best card in the game. So actually, I got 3,000 coins the first match, and the, f the first card you can buy is 1,000 coins. second card is 2,000 coins. So the first game, you can literally buy the entire... Um, game there's nothing else you can buy so it's kind of pointless to even have coins past the first level like coins are completely valueless in this game there's literally only three cars and they all reflect a building that's not there you're inside and it's reflect bro <sighs> well i paid 17 cents so i get what i paid for but yeah oh so this is actually a different map this is literally the first time we actually changed the maps in Tuk Tuk Extreme Simulator. And I'm very proud of that moment. We have Cherry Blossom Trees, which is a huge upgrade compared to the snow, which kind of is acidine. But the map's so hard. And I like the dirt road better than the snow dirt road or whatever it is. Oh! Oh! Yo! That was a good save right there. Oh, am I going to get... Oh, okay. So, I guess the blue car is better than the the green one. Oh, okay, never mind. I spoke way too soon. That was terrible. I was god awful. But we are doing good as a team, guys. Not really. There's no one in the car, but... I don't even know. I guess this is a RC car. Because there's no one in it. It's just weird. I do want to get on the map. But I don't think it's possible. Or it probably is possible, knowing how bad this game is, but... It seems very hard and almost not worth it. And I bet when you get on the map, you can't do anything because it's just terrible. Um, they should pay me to play this game. Am I gonna save myself? Okay, so how did I save myself? Sometimes, like, oh, okay, I'm dead. And the weird part is you can't. It just resets on your on your own. You can't like reset it for you. So this map's really easy. I have one minute left. Oh, that's how you can get out of the map. That, that's the only way. I'm trying to get out of the map, but I can't. I have one minute left to spare, guys. Okay. So I could make it, or I can go past it. And I can't go there. Oh, maybe I can go in between those, like, road close signs. Invisible wall. That's so cringe. There's no point of that. Okay, so let's see how many coins I get. Wait, so one... F what? So you're saying one second I get 50 coins, and then 30 seconds left I get 60 coins? That doesn't make any sense. It is coin... Oh my god, the coin system's awful. Now I got 9,000 coins, and I can't do anything with them. So it's the same map, except fall leaves. And they remove the cherry blossom tree, so... The cherry blossom tree is actually way better than the stupid leaves that float on mountains. They are literally floating. How do you have that many? Bro. I mean, why am I complaining about the leaves? There's way worse things about this game. And honestly, I don't think I can even finish this level. This is just too boring of a game. I might just end it here. Because it's the same level. And I'm not going to play this level again. This is just... Okay. I'll see you guys. That's it. That's, I just want to show you how bad Tuk Tuk extreme simulator is you know what for shits and giggles i'll put the game 
in the description just because. And before, you know what? I'm gonna show you on Steam real fast. I have it pulled up on my Steam. Not really. I'm just gonna type it in real fast. What? Yo! Hold up! Sorry, I had to close this gameplay. Look, two hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? I gotta play this game. Two hundred dollars. No, are you kidding me? This game is two hundred dollars for Fly Fly Tux, and I have a game. I don't know how I have this game. I I for sure did not pay two hundred for this game. Look, Tuck Tuck. Oh my god. So I have. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, it's four dollars now. It. It used to be ninety nine cents. Literally yesterday. And I paid probably seventeen cents for it on sale. If you pay four dollars for this, I think it's a rip off. This game's just terrible. Like just god awful. But tuck tuck. Why do I have a two hundred dollar Steam game that? It's probably just as bad as this one. I'm gonna have to play this one next. Fly Fly Tuck Tuck, a two hundred dollar Steam game. God, I better not pay two hundred bucks for this. It's the same graphics, except better. It's just nineteen car. Okay, well that's literally it. This is just a god awful franchise. Same font. It has to be the same game. Okay, different font, but still god awful. 